Jesus. Stop, 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 stop. Ever thought you could drive a double decker bus? <laughs> There's plenty of people who think they can, with thousands applying every year. My dream was to drive in London. Here I am. <laughs> Come on, put your foot down. Let's see. For those that make it onto bus driver training, the hard part has just begun. Ah, what am I doing here? A team of specialist instructors has six weeks to whip recruits into shape. What's a bus lane for? It's a course which pushes trainees to their limits. Oh, I'm going to have nightmares tonight. What if I going to give up today? <laughs> for the lucky few who make it... Oh. Yes! A new career beckons behind the wheel of one of the biggest vehicles on the road. You don't want to get on here, love. Trust me. With the lives of over 80 passengers in their hands. <laughs> Welcome to Bustle, Evan. At Arriva's Double Decker Driving School, recruits are being put through their paces on the six-week intensive training course. Courtney has been on the course for less than a week, but due to busy schedules, he's just had a change of teacher. I've got a new instructor. Might be proper strict. He's now in the capable hands of Shabazz Alam. He's heard Courtney fancies himself as unnatural behind the wheel. So let's see how good you are. Courtney's last job was a van driver. Now he's decided he's ready to upscale. I would say I'm asking how to drive one of them, it was a piece of cake. So I was like, let me try something bigger. When I try and do things, I try and do things to the best of my ability. When you go into something, you might as well be the best. But could Courtney be just a little bit overconfident? What do you hit the curb? What do you think you have done wrong? I paid attention more to that, sir. This mirror, shall we put it on eBay? If you're not going to use it, we might just put it on eBay. Was that a good break? No, it worked. It's because I was talking to you. Uh, keep on blaming me for everything. What do you mean you're talking to me? I tell you don't like me already. It, it doesn't mean that I don't like you. It's mean I do like you. Stop lying, man. That's why I'm bringing you on these really narrow roads, because I want you to be a bus driver. There's another curve. Oh. There is... I'm, I'm never happy, because if I look at it, that in one hour driving, you have to have made seven, eight driving faults, and one of them, mistakes can be really dangerous. So I am tough man to please. Then we hit, hit two curbs. The first one we hit, you know why we hit that. The second curb, you blamed me for that. Oh, I was talking to you. You can't drive the bus. It's start thinking and driving now. Shabazz has now got just five weeks to rein Courtney in and get him ready for the road. Rodney Willis is coming to the end of his training. Today is a day that could change his life. You fit? As I'll ever be. Got my practical driving test today. It's kind of do or die. And they're basically going to test everything that I've learned over the last five, six weeks. Rodney and his instructor, Dave Bridson, have been through some tight spots. You get out of it. Ouch, ouch, ouch. We need a smaller bus. <laughs> really, yeah, yeah. I've had my heart set on being a bus driver and making that successful. That is my plan A. Plan B and Plan C, really. It's a student's march. We're right in the thick of it. Even when it looked like Dave was doing a runner, Rodney kept calm and carried on. What are they thinking? Believe me, it, it is hard. I didn't think I'd get this far. I've steadily improved, and I think I can do it. Rodney got married recently and hopes that becoming a bus driver will finally be the job for him. I never got to settle in a particular job. This is an opportunity where, with hard work, I can actually be good at something. That's it, you're doing really well. Right, follow the road straight ahead. It's time for some last-minute encouragement from instructor Dave. Good luck. You got the skill. Right. Yeah. OK? There's no excuse. Always think positive. Yeah. Failure's not an option for me. Good morning, Rodney. Rodney has to prove to the independent examiner he can drive confidently and safely. One serious error could be the difference between success and failure. <laughs> 90 minutes later, Rodney's test is over. Has he pulled it off? Rodney, that's the end of the test. I'm sorry to say you haven't passed today. Um, you only failed on one thing. You're on approach to a roundabout. He was coming round the roundabout. 
What kit you have on? What Indicator. Right. And that's all you found. There you go, Rodney. Thank you very much. Absolutely gutted. Oh dear. Not good at all. I'm not disappointed in myself because I know I drove well. I'm just annoyed. That's the only word I can use to describe how I'm feeling right now. Rodney will have to wait and see if the driving school will give him another chance at the test. Courtney is now four weeks into the course with instructor Shabazz and beginning to develop the skills to match his confidence. Well done. Slow down. That's it. Keep on right on your side. That's good. But there's still plenty of lip. Go straight ahead. No, but I don't want to go straight ahead. You should have let him go. I knew that. I should have let him go. If you knew that, then you should have stopped. Courtney, lovely guy to teach with one problem. Every time you tell him something, he had to come up with some sort of excuse. There's nothing wrong with my thing here, positioning and... But you know when you're in the right, so you have to preach while you're in the right. What are you giving me now? Shh. Courtney's coming up to his driving test, so Shabazz is trying to keep his talkative trainee focused on his driving. Look at your left mirror. Where are you? On the road. Yeah, you're on the road, but all the white solid lines. Are you riding a bike? Yeah. When test day arrives, Courtney will need to concentrate and drop the back chat. I know you can drive, but less of that. But we're talking more of that. You're an idiot. <laughs> Since failing his test, Rodney's mood hasn't improved. Come through, Rodney. And it's about to get a whole lot worse. He's been brought in to discuss what went wrong with tough talking training manager Jeff White. Had you passed today? You'll be carrying around up to 90 people in a bus. And any time you forget when you're driving in service, you're probably talking about killing somebody. You can't afford to forget, can you? No. You need to get over it, grow a pair, move on. I'll put you out of your misery, you will get another test. Do you want anything to say? No. Do you need a tissue? <laughs> no, no, I just need to get out of here. Get out of here then. After six weeks of training, Courtney's big day has arrived. And as usual, he's feeling pretty self-assured. Oh, ace that. I've got so much confidence in that. It's too overconfidence, and, and that's, that's not good. You could be queuing up on the job centre. Courtney needs to show the independent examiner he's got the skill and the discipline to drive a double-decker. Bad driving or back chat could mean failure. Ninety minutes later, and it's over. Has Courtney's performance matched his confidence? Well, Courtney, at the end of the test, oh, please stay fast. <coughs> Me. That's good. So, welcome. Terry Bowen. Now Courtney's a qualified bus driver. He'll have to start acting like one. You know what you're like. I know what you're like. Now, what I want you to do for me is when you go to your garage, you're going to become Mr. Grey. And by that, I don't mean 50 shades of grey. You just go in, do those work, and go on. It's all about the instructor, innit? Gave your own for your money, mate. This time, I had to earn my money from this company. Yeah. It was really hard work, especially at the beginning. I'm pleased for him. And he will stay out of trouble, hopefully. Okay. Hey. For over the moon. I've done it. It's an accomplishment to myself. It's just a start to a new journey, innit? After passing his test, today Courtney's driving passengers between Stamford Hill and Euston on the number 253. Yeah, it's right. I think it's easy. Easy as cake. When you're on your own, you're like your own boss. He drives okay, but he's a bit bumpy. But he's already picked up some bad habits. Certain things they taught you don't really use. I feel that I've got more control of driving the bus with one hand. I don't know, you put the wheel in your palm and spin it around. It's much more easier. He definitely wasn't taught to drive like that on his training. I like it. I like it. 
coming up. Get one starter up. It's last chance saloon for Rodney. I would probably call it a day if I didn't pass today. And new recruit Alvin struggles with instructions. We're going to turn left. I said we're turning left, Alvin. Sorry. Hey, Jesus. Alvin de Guzman is in his first week at the Double Decker Driving School. Sorry, a bit nervous, but uh, I was trying my best. Alvin moved here from the Philippines eight years ago, and he quickly fell in love with London's Double Deckers. When I came in this country, I always ride in the Double de Decker bus. Uh, I thought to myself, I want to be one of the drivers of this bus, so it is one of my dreams, yeah. Alvin gave up his job as a traffic warden to train to become a bus driver. He'll be taught by veteran instructor Bob Sculfer. Road positioning yeah. and try not to hit any curbs, yeah? Keep lying that right mirror, that's where the danger is. Careful, look, there's other people on the road, Alvin, yeah? Alvin's struggling, not only to drive a 10 ton bus in London, but also to take instructions in a foreign language. My language is, is not the same with them. Coming up to a roundabout, we're going to turn left. I'm finding it hard to deal with. I said we're turning left, Alvin. Do you understand what I'm saying? Sorry. We get that quite a lot. People where uh, English not their first language. Well, Alvin, you've got two lanes here, yeah? OK. But with Alvin, he, he just looked at you and said, OK, OK. Don't look at me, Alvin. Look at the road. OK. That was the curb. OK. Didn't realise whether he was just being polite or whether he was understanding. Off the gas. Stop. Where are you going? Hey, Jesus. You want to get off? <laughs> that enough? All I ask is you learn. Yeah. I do get fed up when I keep telling people over and over and over and over again. Sorry. Yeah? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Alvin will soon have a test drive where a senior instructor will evaluate his progress. I feel a bit sorry for Alvin because he's got a lot of pressure on him. Uh, he'll get out of it, eventually. I'm worried a little bit now. I'm trying to get used to it, but I'm, I'm having difficulties as well, you know? But uh, I'm trying to do my best, you know? It's the night before Rodney's second test, and he's taken his wife, Samantha, down there local. He's still upset he didn't pass first time. Just because I didn't indicate when I was coming coming off the roundabout. Um, oh, but you know that's important. You have to indicate. Yeah, it's important. But everything else about the drive was fine. I was quite angry. How angry? Very angry. <laughs> Trust me, you're going to pass. So I'll be OK. Yeah. He was just so down. And it really, really affected him. Because he, he worked his butt off that day and night. She kind of um, looks at the bigger picture and kind of points out where I went wrong and to kind of move on from it. You're going to pass. Tell yourself that. I'm going to pass. There you go. High five. Boom. <laughs> Alvin's about to have his progress check. Halfway into the course, the instructors need to make sure he's on track. Of course, I'm worried about it because uh, they will check how the way I drive now. I hope I will make progress. Alvin has his heart set on the bus driver's salary of 25 grand to help support his young family. I have a 15 years old daughter, I have 13 years old son, and I have one year old daughter. I don't want to let them down. His progress check will be carried out by training officer Jim Johnson. I've got a crystal ball. I can see into the future, and at the moment, it's not looking very rosy. Is only you can put it right. Oh, my boy. All right. After three weeks on the course, Alvin must show he understands what he's been taught. Too many mistakes, and it'll be the end of his training. Now it's all up to Alvin. It's the most stressful part when you've got to sit and watch what they're doing, and you think, I never told him to do that. <laughs> Why is he doing that? But it's like watching your, your child in the Christmas play. As Alvin approaches the lights at speed, Mystic Bob has a premonition. We ain't gonna make it. Easy, Tiger. Alvin needs to curb his instinct to race the lights. So he just wants to go charging into everything. 
slow it down, slow it down. Very close with the mirrors on the near side. Right. We'll pull in at that bus stand. That'll do you. Right, what do you think of that drive? Still not good. You were a bit fast in some places. Twice in the world's lights that were green onto, onto amber, one was nearly a red, and you want to go through it. What I'm going to do is give you another 10 hours. Yep. I'll tell you now, and I need to see an improvement. Oh, that was disappointing. Can't make him do it. It's down to him. Alvin will get another chance to prove himself, but if he doesn't raise his game for the next progress check, his bus driving dream could be over. No, I'm not happy about it. I need to improve. It's not easy. But if you want your dream to be... to get it, you will do all your best. That's what I'm trying to do. It's test day for Rodney. He's already learned that there's no margin for error. This is his second and final chance. And the nerves are getting the better of him. I'm hungry, but I just mm -hmm. don't feel like eating. No? In six weeks of training, Rodney's negotiated tight corners... Ow, ow, ow. ..protest marches... We're right in the thick of it. Go left. ..and the bitter sting of failure. Sorry to say you haven't passed today. Not good at all. Now it's his chance to set the record straight. That's it. Jump on, start her up. Kind of find out a lot of the creases from my first attempt. I would probably call it a day if I didn't pass today. <laughs> Rodney has to indicate to the examiner he has what it takes to be a professional bus driver. Ninety minutes later, Rodney completes his test. But the examiner's giving nothing away. Well, Rodney, that's the end of your test. I'm pleased to see your passes, Tom. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Well done, Rodney. <laughs> All right. Happy yeah. man now. Yeah. Great right. stuff. Well so, done. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. I'm pleased for you anyway. Really good drive. You've done yourself justice, eh? Hey? Yeah. You've got to work for your living there, you know that. <laughs> hey? Yeah. Hey? I'm just glad I passed. Glad um, the hard work's kind of paid off. A week later, Rodney's on his own double decker bus. Yeah, today's my first day. Morning. He's on the number 60 from Old Coulston to Streatham Station. A bit nerve-wracking at first, but it seems like going really, really slow. And I think, why are you going so slow? And I just then I realised, oh, yeah, people. After six weeks of training and two driving tests, Rodney has found his calling. I've had a few jobs, but this one's a definite fit. Yeah, I've been in my career for life, yeah. If I want it, I should have done this sooner. <laughs> Next time... Slow it down, Alvin. Get off the gas. Alvin makes an impression on his new instructor. Oh, my God. Oh, God, I'm going to Give it a little touch on the gas, then. Could new trainee Michelle be heading for a fall? Oh, what the f***? Dancing curb. I barely touched it. And new recruit Nadine is on the edge. Come on. It's not the end of the world. Griff Rhys-Jones heads off on a slow train through Africa tomorrow at 9 as he continues his new series. ITVB finds out her life's been for the newlyweds after their first year together. And here on ITV, Torvald and Dean are at the ice rink on the estate, brand new, next tonight.